hello and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry my name is david abraham and our scripture for today comes from second corinthians 5 verses 18 and it reads now all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself through jesus christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation i repeat now all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself through jesus christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation now i want to divide the scripture into two parts and the first part says now all things are of god now what do we understand by that before that verse it says if anyone be in christ he's a new creation all things have passed away and all things have become new then here it says now all things are of god so what it's saying that the coming of christ is of god the release of grace is of god the release first and foremost of the era of um the law is of god the release of the era of grace is of god um the um death crucifixion the resurrection of of christ is of god so he said now all things that means the different eras the plan the whole um, um, uh, miracles christ performed the whole turning of um, water into wine the whole feeding of the five thousand the whole signs and wonders the resurrection power of, of lazarus the redemption power all these things and now all things are of god all things are of god every single thing is of god so the plan is for god is of god the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life now that is john 3 verse 16 and he says and here he was speaking about the love of god so the love of god propelled him to bringing forth jesus christ as a some somebody he loved so much as a sacrificial lamb that we that we will that he will bring about the reconciliation of man to god and the second bit says who has reconciled us to himself through jesus christ so he said now all things are our god who has reconciled us to himself through jesus christ so the death of jesus christ the coming the jesus christ ministry and his death is the beginning of the era of grace so the era of grace is the reconciliation era so everything has already been done for us everything has been done christ has died for our sins christ has brought about the covenant of grace the covenant of peace the covenant of wealth the covenant of good health christ has brought about everything that brought about the um, the reconciliation of god so we are reconciled to god we are reconciled to christ to to god through christ now let me let me ask what was this question what was the need of the reconciliation of mankind there was a need of the reconciliation of mankind because of the sinful nature of adam and eve so adam and eve sinned and adam and eve brought about the separation of mankind from god now that was the first Adam and Jesus who is the second Adam brought about the reconciliation of 
um, man and God. So here it says, who has reconciled us through, to himself through Jesus Christ. So God reconciled us to himself through the person through the person of Jesus Christ. And when he reconciled us, we were able to experience grace. We're able to, and from that time on, we're able to savor the, the, the sweetness, the honey in grace. So he said also, and he's giving us the ministry of reconciliation now what does it speak what do we understand by the ministry of reconciliation the ministry of reconciliation is that we constantly fellowship is that we constantly um, stand for God is that we constantly speak for God is that we constantly um, minister the gospel is that we constantly live in the fruits of the Spirit that we constantly follow after the doctrines of God, that we constantly lead our lives completely and in the totality of the dealings and the things of God. And that is the ministry of reconciliation. The ministry of reconciliation is salvation. So as, as salvation is a doing word, so as we continue to engage ourselves in this doing word called salvation, we are servicing the ministry of reconciliation and therefore we are constantly reconciling with the person of God we are constantly following after the person of God we are constantly um, following after the, the sweetness of God we are constantly experiencing the miraculous nature of God we are constantly experiencing the nature of God we are constantly fulfilling our destiny we're constantly tending towards the perfect nature of god we're constantly being endorsed and justified every day as we dwell in that ministry of reconciliation so everybody that is a believer lives in that ministry of reconciliation which is a doing ministry which is the ministry of salvation which is the ministry of of our purpose in life in Christ which is the ministry that we should live by faith which is the ministry that we should um, live after live after the fruits of the Spirit which is a ministry that we should follow the doctrines of Christ which is a ministry that we should continually engage in the things that concerns God the things that glorify God the things that brings joy to the heart of the living God whom we claim and whom we represent on the face of the earth now I want to pray that God is able to expound our minds on this word that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word that we will be able to walk with him and run with him that ultimately God gives us that grace that when we're lacking in our ministry of reconciliation, that it, continue, it con continues to give us that help. Because our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the right hand of God. Our help is in the person of God. The, the mysterious and miraculous and supernatural nature of God. That God is able to help us through and through. When we are weak, He's our strength. When we wait upon Him, we will we, we'll mount up our wings like as, as eagles. That God helps us through and through. So that ultimately there will be a fulfillment ultimately that he'll be justified that we are lead our lives according to how he has asked us to live it and we are able to come out victorious all this i ask through jesus christ our lord i thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless in jesus name amen amen